Hello. I'm just adding Hello. Mark and then I will be there. Hopefully. Here he is. There he is. Hello. Hello, hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm Thank you, by the way. Thank yeah, thanks for joining, joining us. Thanks for being our What's first that? masculine man, energy, whatever you want to call it, on the call. I'll, I'll take that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, we'll get started because we don't want to take up too much of your time because you have been very generous um, and used some of your Sunday to chat to us, which we're very <laughs> grateful for. Thanks. So we know Mark from a CrossFit box that we have been members of before and at the time Mark was actually the general manager of that CrossFit box but he has since built his own CrossFit business both in line and on, uh, sorry, online and in person mm -hmm. from the ground up which is no mean feat um, and takes lots of courage. So, first question for you is, mm -hmm. what, what advice can you give people looking to do a similar thing, build a business from the very beginning? I think the, the biggest part or the, the scariest part for people is taking that, that first leap, right? When we're in um, a job working for someone else, um, we have that um, security. We have mm. that monthly... Um, paycheck that might be coming through um, so it can be a little bit scary the thought of going out on your own into the unknown and, and starting something starting something new and something fresh so the oh i think he's muted i think you've muted accidentally mark there, you go. there, you oh, go. there, you go. <laughs> there we go um, yeah just 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 taking that leap is probably the hardest thing um for myself when um, I was kind of in the process of making these decisions, I was thinking to myself, um, you know, why would I work to um, build someone else's business when I could do that for myself? Mm. Um, so yeah. there's so many things, I'm sure we'll, we'll talk about it as we go on, but, but certainly um, taking that leap is uh, probably the scariest, hardest part, that's for sure. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. Um, after taking the leap, mm. what would you say have been the benefits for you of being self-employed and being out on your own? So I would say for myself, the ability to um, grow the business um, in the direction that I choose it mm. to grow is yeah. a big one mm -hmm. for me, but also um, the ability to uh, choose the way that I grow the business. So in other words, um, for me, I can choose the hours which I choose to work. Um, I can choose the direction in which I want the business to go, whether it's targeting a particular audience or a different audience. Um, but more than anything, um, I always come back to uh, the, the concept of, um, you know, again, growing my own business. There isn't necessarily a cap on what I can or can't do. And what I mean by that is, um, if you imagine you're a, a doctor or a lawyer, um, there is a cap on how much mm. that you can earn yourself because people are only willing to you know, pay you a certain amount or whatever it is. Whereas when you own your own business, you can work as much as you want and there is no cap on what you can earn and what you do. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree with that. Yeah. And you Which get to step you to, to your own. Yep, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You're trying to get to step um, to the beat of your own drum, which you mm -hmm. don't get to do when you're an employee. That's exactly right. Yeah. And do you find, Mark, I know when Darren and I opened our first business, you talk about the courage and, and being, I always talk about being bold and brave. But when I look back, you know, it'll be interesting to see what you think. Once we got over that first hurdle, if you like, of just having the guts to do what we wanted to do, um, everything sort of fell into place. And it was so much less scary once we were in it, if that makes sense. 100%. Did you find the same? Obviously, running a business is no different. You know, there's ups and downs. But I think the initial fear of making that bold decision is so much worse than the reality of, of running your own business. That's that makes sense? That's a, yeah, 100%. Mm. And, and I agree with you more. 
um, I found that the the hardest part for me was actually leaving the the, the particular job that I was in at the time, nice. um, just through the you know that that kind of unknown and, mm. and unknowable. Um, but yeah. but taking that leap was I, was one of the best things that I did um, for myself and and obviously for the business. Um, but you know you're one hundred percent right right when you're there and you're in it yourself. Um, all these things that you you thought might be scary um, actually turn into the exciting things um, mm. and the th that yeah. um, you have control over. Yeah, yeah. And that probably leads me to my question, which, as many people know, I'm a huge fan of multiple incomes. It's probably something I let go for a while. Um, with actually thinking about you this morning, you've actually got quite a number of different incomes. It's very smart. Um, not only did you set up, you know, your own brand, which is Hero, um, with, within that you have face-to-face, -face, you have online worldwide programming, you've got clients globally now, which yep. we can say, which is very, very exciting. So, again, you're uncapped because you, you've got a global market ahead of you. But you're also smart enough to work for CrossFit HQ, for Bergener Strength, you know, you do Airbnb. So, really, you've got, what, five income streams so, potentially yeah, so, coming so, in? That's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, which I suppose my question is, was that deliberate? Um, or did it just sort of organically happen that way? Um, and what would you say the benefits of that? Like, do you, I know the benefits are obvious because you've got five different income streams coming in, but do you find having the five difficult to juggle? Or do you find that it's just a huge bonus that you've got money sort of trickling from different avenues? Yeah, that makes yeah. sense? A absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so um, when when I uh, left my previous job and had the idea of starting the the business of of uh, Hero, um, mm. I did go into it with the intention of having multiple things going on at once. So as you say, I have the the actual location um, which people can come and and, and train with myself. I then have person clients. I have have my uh, online clients as well, as well as the individual programming that I do for, for individuals. Um, and the, the reason is because, particularly in my industry, um, it's not necessarily something that is going to be the same month to month. Yeah. There are certainly times where, um, you know, around Christmas or things like that, um, you might have your in-person clientele drop off. So for me, um, a lot of it was coming down to that financial security and making sure that I had the ability when certain income streams weren't coming in, um, say, as well as others, that mm -hmm. I could rely well. Um, I'm also, um, you know, a big fan of that kind of subscription model um, in terms yeah. of running because it means you have something ticking over every month um, and I think that having lots of different um, income streams um, not necessarily the subscription model but having all those different types of models um, certainly helped for myself feeling more comfortable um, changing from my my previous role as well um, yeah. but then um, you know when I started and I thought business, I thought that there's lots of different opportunities within that. Um, in terms of juggling them all, um, I feel as though I'm quite lucky in that, that they all complement each other. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, I can kind of make it work for myself um, however I need to, you know, if, if going away on holiday is an example, you know, I would be relying more on my online clientele to get me through at that time mm -hmm. um, as doing in-person stuff because I wasn't there. Yeah. So um, for me, it, a lot of it was about security. But again, um, having those multiple income streams, um, you know, is, is of great advantage if, if you have mm. that. Ability. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Right. And let's just do a plug for CrossFit Oh, Hero. I was going to do that. And Hero you go. So and if there's anybody on here or anybody that plays it back, then you need to plug into CrossFit Hero. Um, Hero Weightlifting, and then we've got the CrossFit Athlete. So three brands in one. Um, so look him up on social media. <laughs> we'll put a little tag in there. Thank you um, we, we belong to CrossFit Hero. Um, <laughs> but 
And I think the online is massive. There are so many people that um, either can't get to people in person um, and it just suits them better online. So I, I think it's very impressive the way you built such a big online presence. I, um, so I, I, I must say on, on that um, note and on that topic, um, one of the best things that I think that I did do, given that um, the way the world is heading and the mm. way of social technology, is I hired a very lovely young girl <laughs> to do my <laughs> uh, Absolutely amazing job. She's and just I, commented. And <laughs> I don't think that, um, I, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think that I would have been able to do that myself. And um, she does a fantastic job. So big shout out to her. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I'm very thankful for, for having that online presence because I do think it is a, a very, very important thing for businesses yeah. um, in this day and age. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and that's know. Alana. That's Alana. And it's creatives. Couple. Look her up. Creative. Creative, creative by Alana. By Alana that's think. it. So look it, it up. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh, thank well, you, Mark. Thank you so it. much, Mark. Yes. We Pleasure. really thank appreciate you. it. Thanks now you can go and have dinner. Dinner <laughs> off at Masculine on the uh, Live at Five. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye.